this is Gilbert Gottfried, and I'm here with my co-host Frank Santo Padre, and this is <laughs> Gilbert and Frank's Amazing Colossal Obsessions. We're here at Nutmeg with our engineer Frank Verderosa and Paul Rayburn in the corner. You almost broke into Jerry there. You ah, were... hi! <laughs> A little bit. Timpani! <laughs> Take a breath, Gilbert. Take a breath. So this is... Uh, let me take a sip. Mm. Wow, he goes fast sometimes. Did you just eat some pixie sticks or something? <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships out at sea. <laughs> I think we're getting punchy. I've been recording too long. So this last time we did another One Hit Wonder episode, and we did 1970, and our trusty researcher, Paul Rayburn, is in here with us to give us a little background on some of these these songs, but Gilbert continues to amaze. Gilbert and his transistor radio memories yes. from the, I was going to say from the 50s. And a man with a child on his shoulders and a wife on his arm is still the best dressed man in the country. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I like it. Wow. Uh, so we're going to do uh, some songs from 1971 and see how many Gilbert remembers. And uh, <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> that was like Arthur Godfrey yeah. on a bender. Uh, so here we go. Uh, January 2nd, 1971, For the Good Times by Ray Price. Of course, that was a big hit. Oh, I should preface by saying these are songs that charted by artists who never charted again, thus so, making them... One, one hit, hit wonder. wonders. They're not necessarily charted at number one, but charted Just somewhere. charted. Just got in the top 40. Right. And some of these people were big stars, like Richie Havens is on the list. And it, this is the only time he actually made the Billboard charts. Right. And some of these people had very, very fast and short careers. Um, like the second band to chart, which was Red Eye, with a song called Games. And then We Gotta Get You a Woman by a performer. Uh, uh, I guess it's a, a band called Runt. <laughs> R-U-N-T No wonder they have to get him a, a woman good name yeah. for a band <laughs> they, they had to change the, the, one of the letters At the oh, last God. second that's like, <laughs> that, that's like that old Otto and George joke Where, yeah. the, where the Pope's doing the crossword puzzle <laughs> well, Those of you that know Otto and George You'll know that joke um, But here's the first one I actually recognize uh, By Lynn Anderson Charted February 13th, 1971 Peaked at number three Gil, does this ring any bells? Right. Your pardon. I never promise you a rose garden. That's the one. <laughs> the sunshine. There's gotta be a little rain sometimes. If you better try to give, so live and let live or let go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Stop setting. I never promise you a rose garden. Correct. What do we know, Paul, about we, Ms. The, Lynn Anderson? The rose garden, I think she passed away. There was a, uh, there was a, uh, no, much later. No, there was, I thought there was, it, it wasn't that from a book or a movie or something? There I'm trying was to find a book. It. Song from a book. I never promised you, or was yeah, it a movie? What I think it was a movie. Was it? I think it was a movie. Right, there was also a book. Go to the next book. one. I'll work okay, we'll jump ahead. Find it. Yeah. Precious, Before precious. Before we jump ahead, I have, yeah, I have Frankie. to interrupt, because I don't want us to look silly. <clears throat> Runt is not the performer of We Gotta Get You a Woman. That's Todd Rundgren, and the album was Runt. Wow. Oh, it's a Todd Rundgren song. Yeah, I know remember? that song. Yeah, of course. Well, it says here, perf- well, Wikipedia I, fucked Wikipedia me up. Wikipedia fucked us up. Because this says, <laughs> I was wondering why there would be a band called Runt. Yeah, I mean, there could be. Todd Rundgren, the great Todd Rundgren. I, right. didn't watch it, so I didn't want to get people yelling I, I at us. I knew I knew that song. Okay, so I, we're, we are corrected. I but, Never Promised You a Rose Garden it was a Wiki. novel. Written by Joanne Greenberg and published in 1964. There you go. So now, Greenberg. Their... Uh, what's Green... nationality? <laughs> Which Italian. Tribe? Italian, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a song based on a book. Song based on a book. Right. Right. Like Games People Play. Remember that one? Oh. That was another one. That was a oh, book. Oh, the Games People that was, Play. That was a 60, now. yeah. Every night, night, every night and every day now. <laughs> Never <laughs> mean what they say now. I actually wasn't Never intending to have you guys mean. sing. I just wanted to mention the title. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I thought I was Gilbert Gottfried for a second. <laughs> precious, Precious came after that by Jackie Moore. I don't know if you know any of these people. 1900 Yesterday by Liz Damon's Orient Express. I think I ate there when I lived in, <laughs> I lived in L.A. 
Like I got takeout from there. <laughs> Sweet Mary by Wadsworth Mansion. Anything? Nothing. Mm. I think some of these are on the Rhino collections. You know, they have a nice yeah. day. Oh, yeah. They have a nice decade. Theme from Love Story, Francis Lai. Oh, oh here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. That's it. Da 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 yep. da 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 da, and the lyrics were, uh, "Tell me, oh, uh, like where do, where I, begin? do I begin yes. to tell a story <laughs> of how great a love can be?" This, this would have gotten her out of the coma. This, yeah. this, this is this is a, suggests a theme for a future show, which is cancer movies, right? Oh, which are always so yes. gripping. Yes, uh, yeah, and, like yeah. Brian's song. Uh, I think of Andy Williams singing that for some reason. No, it wasn't. Was he it may have. It, he may have recorded Williams? it, but I don't Where think. Do and I think Perry Como sang it. I, I mean, back I, that probably was picked up by a lot yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah. the movie was, was huge. Back then, they had one hit. What the? And everybody Todd Rundgren did, did, did one. <laughs> Frank says Todd Rundgren did one. <laughs> yeah, it's on the Runt album. I, I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think. It was a runt song. <laughs> Got to get him a woman. Uh, it was a big, hairy runt song. <laughs> <laughs> now cut that out. <laughs> there was DOA by Blood Rock, uh, March, uh, March 71, chopped, uh, topped uh, 36. Me and Bobby McGee, of course, Janis Joplin. Oh, I always get choked up over Janis Joplin. Yeah, but that, do you really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. which well, is an example of what I was saying. Somebody who had a big career. Yeah. But, the, but that's the only time she charted? Is that a Mama Cass? Are you thinking of Mama Cass? Oh, did and I you went for Mama my And you went for a Janis oh. Joplin joke? You oh. tacky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and then Help Me Make It Through the Night by Sammy Smith. We all know that one. Oh, yeah. Help me make it through the night. That was covered a lot. That might be a Jimmy Webb song. I know I'm misspeaking here. But anyway, and then this classic went to number 10. April 10th, to be exact. You bet. One toke over the line, sweet Jesus, one toke over the line. Now down in a railway station, one toke over the line. Who can be Hoping that the train is on time. I'm down in a railway station, one toke over the line. Who? Do you love? <laughs> well, he, does, he does the I bridge. Hope it's me. <laughs> he does the bridge. I've been changing, as you can plainly see. I met all the girls and I love myself a few. And and to my surprise, after all that I've been through, it's opened up my eyes. Everybody, and now I'm on one toke over, over the line, line sweet Jesus. Jesus. Why can't we get you to sing at karaoke night at Joe <laughs> McGinty's place? <laughs> because then there's a reason for it. <laughs> That's right. Hey, can I jump back to help me make it through the night? Yeah. Oh, I thought Take, you're going back to Lynn Anderson. Let me give you one more. Bird. Give me. Give me. Give give you one more shot at who wrote the song. One to uh, help not, me make not it through Jimmy the night. Not Jimmy Webb. Give me a first initial. K. Okay. Chris Christopherson. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. That was okay. buried in my head somewhere, right. and I yep. don't know why I said yep. Jimmy Chris Webb. Chris Christopherson. Yeah. Shame on me. <laughs> Did you have anything on the Lynn Anderson? I didn't know. Just uh, that okay. was, yeah, the, the, okay. the novel, that was the thing. Chris, if Chris Christopherson wrote Help Me Make It Through the Night, that means two Chris Christopherson compositions charted consecutively because he wrote me and Bobby McGee. That's right. That's Hot right. damn. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. And what's with all the Jesus songs, by the way? <laughs> There's another one, One Toke Over the Line. Oh, yes. yes Jesus. <laughs> Here's another Jesus song uh. by a band called Ocean. Francesco. I used to play this on the guitar when I was a kid. Yeah. I'm ashamed to say. Gil's having a flashback. Right. Put your hand no. in the hand of the man. Still in the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man. Look at yourself and you can look at others differently. A hand in the hand of a man from Galilee. Gilbert's found religion. We're going to have a miracle right here in the studio. I can feel it. <laughs> there was something going on in the late 60s, early 70s with these Christian pop songs. That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
Uh, let's see. Then there was. I should do an album of duets with Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> to hear that. <laughs> the passion of the Gilbert. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was "Put Your Hand in the Hand" by Ocean. Uh, that charted. That went all the way to number two in May of '71. Uh, followed by "Stay a While" by The Bells, a song I like. Uh, Timothy by The Boys. B U O Y S, not boys, know. but the boys, the buoys, the buoys, buoys. Uh, Battle hymn of Lieutenant Cali, which sounds disturbing. Yeah, I don't know disturbing. anything about that, but it's clearly a, that, uh, it's clearly a song about the melee massacre. Was that before or after the it, Ballad of the Green Berets? Uh, yeah. I believe after. after. I think that was the sixties. Uh, but it's uh, easy to dance to. Yeah, <laughs> 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 they said on bandstand. <laughs> uh, Frankie, where'd you go? Are you with us? Take us to the song number nine, uh, May 8th of 1971. Do we have the right one? This was Daddy Dewdrop. I love this song. It's so ridiculous. I had a crazy dream about a chick in a, in a black, black bikini. Mm. Oh, she looked so good, she couldn't be real. She, she must, must be a magic genie. See, I don't All know I the lyrics, three doors, but you'll know the chorus. The of her bikini. I made it through the first door. There was a party going Anything on. on this, Paul? I asked about the trip. Daddy Dudra. You bet. Chicka-boom, chicka-boom. Don't you judge love the chicky-boom, chicky-boom. Don't you judge love it. Chicky-boom, chicky-boom. Don't you judge love it. Chicky-boom, chicky-boom, boom, boom. I found the bottom part. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Daddy Dewdrop. I think it's Chick a Boom, but I won't. Was why, why split hairs? <laughs> that was a pseudonym for the American songwriter Richard Dick Monda. Yeah. Richard Dick Monda, who, among other things, his family relocated from Ohio to California. He appeared in the films The Glass Wall and Go for Broke and was chosen to play at 13 Eddie Cantor in the Eddie Cantor story. Wow! Daddy so. Dewdrop is in the Eddie Cantor story. What? But in the, oh, <laughs> he must have played him as a kid. Oh, as boy. a kid, he was thirteen. Yeah, yes, oh my, yes. my, that my, that my mind is blown by was, that. Uh, yeah, Daddy what, Dewdrop. What's his name? Uh, the the, the Br- Brazil. Keith, Keith Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, yeah. Was how about that? Chicka boom! Don't you just yeah, love it by Daddy wow. Dewdrop? That went all the way to number nine. He that was, would qualify he was, as a He produced song. music for the Saturday morning cartoon series. Sabrina and the Groovy Ghoulies. I remember the Groovy Ghoulies. Oh. And remember that, Chicka don't you? Boom yeah. was originally written for the show. Oh. For Chicka Boom. Chicka Boom was written for, for Sabrina. For the, right. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I guess it was a spinoff. Boy, I've watched too much TV. Yeah, I think, well, it was originally <laughs> a comic book. That's I Caroline think. Ray, right? Well, the live action version was Caroline Ray, but there was a Saturday morning, you're too young, there was a Saturday morning series. There was the Archies. Then there was Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Then there was Sabrina and the Goofy, the Groovy, groovy ghoulies. ghoulies. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's a flashback. Uh, that was fun, Gil. I won't ask you why you're always seven beats behind. The, oh, yeah. The actual, the actual, the actual <laughs> that, vocal. That, that, that's, a, that's a vocalist <laughs> choice. My, that's my, an artistic yeah. choice. My yeah. autobiography is going to be called <laughs> Seven Beats Behind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> then the aforementioned Richie Havens with his cover of Here Comes the Sun. Uh, I Love You for All Seasons by The Fuzz. And Woodstock by and Matt. Then, and there was Fuzzy Runt. Fuzzy Runt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's a double on top. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Woodstock by the Matthew Southern Comfort. I wonder if that's the same. You know, the Woodstock cure for is... Fuzzy Runt, by the way, is lemon peels. That apparently gets I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, as opposed to the oranges, which yes. is the right. <laughs> How about this one? Um, May 29th, 1971, it peaked. Uh, it peaked at number 20 by a group called Tin Tin. Does this mean anything? <clears throat> Remember we talked about the oh, X? Oh, I'm sorry. You have the X. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't find this one? I could God damn it. All right. Moving on. Here we go. Uh, Kool-Aid. We're running out of time here, so we'll speed it up. Kool-Aid by Paul Humphrey and the Kool-Aid Chemists. Wow, somebody was into something there. That's oh, a, yeah. anticipated oh, yeah. Breaking Bad right there. Yeah. Funky Nassau, 
part one by the beginning of the end. Get it on by Chase. Love means you never have to say you're sorry. I think that's another love story reference. Yeah, that's that right. Was, that that's that's yeah. exactly right. Yep. Uh, July, by the sounds of sunshine, if you're feeling groovy. July 31st, 1971. Rings by Cimarron. Any of these mean anything, Paul? Not much. Double Barrel by Dave and Ansel Collins and the Resurrection Shuffle. And then what about this one? And I had this record, too. August 14th, 1971. Oh, Mr. Mr. Big Shot. Mr. Big Shot. Mr. Big Shot. Mr. Big Shot. Mr. Hot Shit. <laughs> Mr. Hutchin, <laughs> who do you think you are, Mr. Hutchin? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> Mr. Big Stuff. By the mortal Gene Knight. <laughs> you see, you do know them. Yes. <laughs> what did you call that one? Mr. Hutchin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's later, hilarious. later covered by the Pointer Sisters, Mr. Big Stuff. Right. Oh my God! Right. Wow, this stuff is better than you think. That's pretty cool. Well, that's a good song. <laughs> it went all the way song. to number two for Miss Jean Knight. She never charted again. Uh, then, what the world needs now is love. Uh, of course, Mr. Bacharach, and that was a. I guess it's there's a slash. What the world needs now slash Abraham, Martin, and John by Tom Clay. That had to be the 50th version of Abraham, Martin, and John, because Dion right. charted first, with right. it. Well, why are they why did And they then Moms the Mabley two? did it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Everybody here, <laughs> e and Mom, can you tell me where he's gone? Yeah, we, need a, we need a duet between Moms and Hervé. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham, Martin, and John. Where do I begin <laughs> to tell the story <laughs> of how great a love can be? Oh, God. The great love story. <laughs> <laughs> so, Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> <That's so laughs> horrifying. I think it's tattoo. <laughs> Okay, and then smiling. And then you go and spoil it all by saying something <laughs> stupid like, I love you. Oh, my, my chest hurts. That's, that, that's a mashup that nobody else no, has come up with. No, that's a Gilbert in the history of entertainment. <laughs> oh, I, I think an artery in my chest just burst. <laughs> then smiling faces sometimes by the undisputed truth. Oh, we all know that one. Yeah. yeah, that was a KG by the Nightlighters, uh, September eleventh, nineteen seventy one. I ain't got time anymore by the Glass Bottle. I love these bands. The glass Bottle. <laughs> and then this classic that Frankie Verderosa has queued up by Mac and Katie Kassoon. <laughs> Uh. Where's your baby John? <laughs> far, far away. Far, far away. Far, far away. Oh, God. Chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> You know, the, the best, uh, all of these oh, one-hit Lord. wonders here, they've yeah. always got two or three other songs that never charted anywhere. What a chirpy, guys, what did Mac and Katie Kisun? They had, in 1975, they oh, followed wow. up with what should have been a, a, a sure shot, Sugar sugar Candy Kisses. I can't even sugar get Sugar Candy Kisses? Sugar Candy Kisses. And in 2012, they had one called Dream of Me. How did we miss that? Don't know. We got to get them on the phone. <laughs> Mac and Katie Kassoon. Right. Uh, the wedding song by Paul Stuckey. You know that one. There is love. That very very saccharine wedding song. It was in ten thousand weddings from Paul wedding. of Peter yeah. Paul and Mary. Uh, Trapped by a <laughs> thing called love by Denise LaSalle. Anything Not there, sure. Paul? Uh, Women's love rights by Laura Lee. That sounds almost like a women's like, love like a feminist thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I found someone of my own by the Free Movement. I had that single, charted it, went to number five. Easy Loving by Freddie Hart. Any of these mean anything, Gil? Mm. I'd love to change the world by Ten Years After. That was a big song. 
We all know that one. How does that go? It's a rock anthem. Sing us a few. I'm bars. not going to sing it. <laughs> it. It peaked at 40. It's sort of it's sort of 40. Like, it's just what they called an album cut in yeah. the old days. Yep. And uh, and we'll wrap it up. Well, I say I'll, I'll jump here, but uh, she's all I got by Freddie North. Desiderata by Les Crane. I believe Les Crane oh was just mentioned on the podcast. God! Because he married Tina Louise. Oh, is that that horrible poem? Is yes, that one of the, they, the poem. They, spoken over the saccharin background music. Yeah, it's the poem that every said, college student yeah. has on Yeah, there. they said that. They found that in some weird church in some weird country. And it was. And then I, I heard it was complete. Years later, they found out. Total fucking bullshit. Did I even <laughs> pronounce it right? Desiderata? Desiderata. Desiderata. Go, go, uh, was, that, was placid- also, that was the name of the album. Yeah. Go placidly uh, among the the haste and the whatever, blah, blah, blah. I remember the National Lampoon parody of it. The uh, music was written by Broadway composer Fred Werner. I don't know. I don't no, know I don't know him either. Well, after that was the theme from the summer of 42. Uh, oh I don't know why that was true. Oh, because the movie came out. Peter Nero. Uh, yeah. He had a big yeah. career. And then Hallelujah by Sweat Hog. <laughs> <laughs> but going back five. Did Gorshak sing that? Yeah. <laughs> Ron Polillo uh, and uh, Robert Hedges. But going back to November 27, 1971 is our last clip. And this is from a movie we've discussed on the pod. Oh. A movie you've told me never to sit through. Yes. <laughs> Come on and listen to me in the story of a man who shot some people and uh, he was really short and he may have been Indian, but we don't really know. But if he was Indian, all the more reason to feel bad for him because he's a minority group and uh, we should call him Native American That's rather one tin soldier. That's, that's, yes. that's, <laughs> Gilbert has gone right to the human rights aspect of the song. He cuts through the uh, he through, does. through the chaff. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that of course was one tin soldier, also known as the Legend of Billy Jack. The legend of that's the, late, the name of the movie. Right? The late yeah, great Tom Laughlin. Oh right. yes, yeah. that was a brilliant. <laughs> I tell you, I did enjoy the SNL parody with Paul Simon called Billy Paul, oh, yeah. <laughs> which is worth tracking the, the tracking down. That was by a group called Coven, C-O-V-E-N. So yeah. you want to tell Go us now. about Coven Let's and we'll, and we we'll wrap about, it up? Find out about Coven. And then find out about Sweat Hog. Frankie, that was fantastic. Don't we have to go out with our theme song? Do we have to go out with the theme and song? And there was that group called A. Mr. Carter. <laughs> Mr. Carter. <laughs> oh, we're going back again to the 60s. <laughs> we're going back to 69. Uh, na, 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 na. Hey, hey. hey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, Steam was Goodbye, the band. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Paul. All right, Coven. Coven. Okay, hit me quick. Before we wrap. Okay, there are other songs. Go. That we missed. Wicked Woman. Oh, of course. And Black Sabbath, not to be confused with the band Black Sabbath. Right. This was a song called Black Sabbath. Coven. An Sounds American like the... psychedelic rock group with occult lyrics. Sounds like they were into some freaky shit. <laughs> yeah. They're no Brewer and Shipley. <laughs> they, were, um, <clears throat> they, were big in, they were big into runts. They were into the runts. We apologize to Todd Rundgren, by the way, and all Todd Rundgren fans. <laughs> Friend of Paul Schaefer. All right. All right. This has been Gilbert and Frank's Amazing Colossal Obsession with our guest, Paul Rayburn. I'm exhausted. Thank you, Frankie. As always, don't sue. Here we go, boys. Sessions.